scores, and highlights from under the bright lights. This is Friday Night Fever, brought to you by Kelly's Carpet Omaha. Hi, everybody. It's Friday Night Fever, Week 2 Electric Boogaloo. I'll explain that later. We start with our game of the week, a pair of top five Millard teams, West and North, meeting at Buell Stadium. Jeff Packer was there from the get-go. What a perfect night weather-wise for a game, Jeff. Dave, I could never ask for anything better than this. The only thing I could ask for is a rematch of the Class A state final, and the Mustangs and Wildcats gave us just that. We started, we ended the year last year with this. Now we get to start a year. To the highlights, we go out here at Buell. Miller West walks in 1-0. The Mustangs 0-1. We pick it up in the first quarter. Mustangs drive, and it's Andrew Wine getting a sweep call just inside the pylon there. Remember that name, people, Andrew Wine, 7-0 Mustangs. Later, the Cats take to the air. Giovanni Guido goes up top and finds Shea Wyatt, leads him perfectly off to the races, and now we're tied at sevens. North takes a 10-7 lead, but Guido going to juke and jive his way into the end zone here. Makes it 14-10 just before the half, but the Mustangs respond, and they win the half. Cade Elwood going to roll out right and finds his boy, Andrew Wine. It's a fine wine, age 17 years. That's 63 yards to the house, 2014 lead at the half. Third quarter. Miller West going to respond. Brody Belt gets his name called on a sweep to the right. Count him 71 yards off to the races. Even his coach can't get in his way. Wow, look at that. 21-20. Wildcats out front. Mustangs respond, though. They're going to march down the field, and it's Kate Elwood, the quarterback, from just two yards out getting in. The fans at Buell are losing it. Mustangs up 26-21, to and they win by that final score after dropping a game last week they win tonight. Our kids are used to being successful and uh, it wore on them a little last week. They gave, they gave a good effort. I thought we played smarter tonight. We played just as hard last week, but from the neck up, I think we were pretty good. I thought our, our, our seniors, I, they really stepped up, showed great leadership tonight. And they got to be playing the best balls of their careers if you're going to go ahead and have a team that's going to go ahead and make a run. We kind of came into this year feeling like, you know, we were the Stephanie State champs and everything should be given to us. But we realized after last game, we got to work hard every week in practice, and it paid off tonight. Dave, a picture perfect night out here, like you said, weather wise. I'm looking at a monitor here. You're in the studio looking great, man. Picture perfect back to you. We got the skylight open, so some sunlight. Oh, no, it's not sunlight. It must be moonlight in here. Thanks, Jeffy. Good job. 